Hello lovely Sagittarius, how are we doing? I hope you're doing well and I hope you're looking forward to this reading. So this is a general reading for June 2023 for Sagittarius. So let's get into it shall we lovely Sagittarius. So the first week we've got the Raise Your Standards card. So this card comes up just to remind you to just raise your game a little bit, raise your standards, raise your vibration. Just have a look at what you're tolerating in life and accepting in life. Are you? Is there areas where you're tolerating accepting more than what you should? Is there somewhere where you could be putting a little bit more effort in to something, whether it's personal or interpersonal? Um, but yeah, that first week is a really supportive week for that type of energy of just raising your game, raising your standards, um, raising the bar of what you will and won't accept and also raising your energy levels and putting a bit more time and effort into something um whatever that may be Sagittarius so let's have a look at the second week the second week we've got the friendships card so the second week is super supportive of getting together with the girls the guys whoever the crowd whoever you like to hang out with and just having a good time making memories having fun and doing something good together so if you haven't got anything booked in in that second week Sagittarius then maybe it's, it's a good chance to get something booked in for that second week of June um, and have some fun, let your hair down, spend some time with the crew and just yeah have a good time and that'll help you raise your vibration and it'll help you as well talk this out so you can see where you need to raise your standards, raise your game a little bit, see if there's something that you need to be aiming a little bit higher with. Uh, so yeah bring that one with your friends, have a chat, have some fun, get out there, go to some events, go and enjoy yourself self my lovely Sagittarius is or if you can't do that in the second week uh, just plenty of conversation with your friends and also maybe planning trips for the future planning events that kind of thing um, just get something going with the friends on that second week and it'll it'll help you to raise your vibration and it'll help you to feel good and have a good time because that's what our friends are for are not we always have a good time <coughs> excuse me so in the third week, we've got the career card. So the third week is really supportive for things like promotions, new job offers, new job opportunities, um, taking your career in a new direction. And it's also a good week of just having a look, see if you're happy in your career, see if it's fulfilling, um, see if it's ticking all the boxes for you. And if not, it's not still, like I say, it's a super supportive time for investigating further and see even if there's anything else out there that's a little bit more suited. Um, so yeah, some of you may be getting a promotion in that third week, some of you may be getting a new job offer or opportunity, some of you may be even setting up your own business or having a little bit of a boost to business in that week, and some of you may just be taking stock and seeing if, if um, maybe this is somewhere, something where you need to raise your standards and raise your game a little bit, Sagittarius, uh, for some of you at least anyway, some of you looking to get into a new job or a new career or just maybe something totally different so that third week really good energy for that type of thing so let's have a look I don't know what's going on with the candle Sagittarius in this reading but there's something going on there why is it giving off black smoke that's fascinating me Sagittarius that is really fascinating me I'm going to tune into it in a minute um, so the last card we've got the let it go card so if there's been something bothering you something on your mind maybe it's something to do with this card in the areas where you need to raise your standards and raise your game um, it's just really good energy this month for letting things go anything that no longer serves us and anything that doesn't serve our highest good or that brings us down or that makes us feel bad or maybe it's like we're projecting onto ourselves that's making us feel bad maybe we've been stressed about a situation that didn't feel good this card is just the universe telling you it's just a gentle reminder to just let it go free yourself put that burden down put that weight down and let it go um, and then you can be you can that's going to help you to raise your vibration as well when you're not carrying around uh, whatever this negative energy might be that you've been holding on to for so long so if you can find a way to let it go that's really going to help uh, so all in all some really interesting and some really good energy is Sagittarius um, god that candle's really going for it isn't it what are you 
you try to tell me, Kendall? I think some of you Sagittarius is, uh, I may have some messages for you. I may have to do another reading for this because there's something that wants to come through, uh, some information. So yeah, I think we'll make another video on that one, Sagittarius. It's, um, anyway, my lovelies, thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the reading. Don't forget to give me a like, comment, share, subscribe and follow if you did. And I will be back next month for the next reading. Lots of love and bye for now.